Ja. Nu știu, că era izei, să-i răde. Nu e și stea, nu? It's not there. Kaira. Kaira, you there? She's sick, yeah. Kaira, Kaira, Kaira. Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahirrabbilalamin. Wassalatu wassalamu ala ashrafil anbiya iwal mursalin. Sadina wa habibina wa shafi'ina. Wa nuri qulubina qurati a'ina muhammadin. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Nawana ta'alima wa ta'alim wa tadakura wa tazkir. Wa naf'a wa lintifa' wa lifada wa lisifada. Wa lahatha ala tamasuki bi kitabillahi wa sunnati rasulihi sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam wa dua ila al-huda wa dalalada ala al-khair ibtigha'a wajhillaha mardatihi wa qurbihi wa thawabihi subhanahu wa ta'ala ma'a lutfin wa afiyatin bi rahmatika ya arhamar rahimin Allahumma inna nas'alika ilma ladunni wa mashraba safi al-hani ya wahab ya ghani Allahumma inna nas'alika ilma ladunni wa mashraba safi al-hani ya wahab ya ghani Allahumma inna nas'alika ilma ladunni wa mashraba safi al-hani ya wahab ya ghani Ashadu an la ilaha illa Allah Astaghfirullah Nas'aluka al-jannata wa na'udhu bika min al-naw Ashadu an la ilaha illa Allah Astaghfirullah Nas'aluka al-jannata wa na'udhu bika min al-naw Ashadu an la ilaha illa Allah Astaghfirullah Nas'aluka al-jannata wa na'udhu bika min al-naw اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عنا اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عنا اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عنا وعن والدينا يا كريم أوكي الحمد لله الحمد لله الحمد لله Um, okay, we are continuing with our story. I remember yesterday we con we were continuing with the story of Nabi Musa and his people, right? And then we spoke about how um Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said, and remember when we split the sea for you, and we saved all of you, and we drowned Fir'aun and his people while you were all looking at them. They saw Fir'aun drowning. So of course yesterday we spoke about how Nabi Musa um at first Nabi Musa didn't know how to come out, you know, of of Egypt, right? And then he realized. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, did not let him know uh, because they're supposed, you know, he's supposed to do something first, which is to take the coffin of you. So remember, he was supposed to find Nabi Yusuf's um uh, coffin and so we dig it up and bring with him because Nabi Yusuf wrote right in his will, a will is like, like an advice or request, right? That if the Bani Israel and his people left Egypt to take his body with him because he has died, right? 
take his body with him and Nabi Yusuf died thousands of years before Nabi Musa alayhi salam. I take his body with him to um, Palestine. They are, they are all originally from Palestine. Nabi Ibrahim is, is, is originally from Palestine uh, to bring all of, to bring Nabi Yusuf back to Palestine. So he, remember, nobody knew where was the body of Nabi Yusuf alayhi salam. And then this old lady, she knew. Right, but she had three requests, right? Who remembers what, what her requests? What did she request for? Right, because, because Nabi Musa said, who knows where's the body of Nabi Yusuf? Who knows where's the body of Nabi Yusuf? Uh, you all can just unmute or you can just type. Uh, to, be correct, right? and and right? to be strong and healthy. To be strong. Strong and healthy is number one, right? And number two, number two, what's number two? What's number two? Everyone will you carry remember? Home. Everyone will carry her. Yeah, they must carry her. She got a free ride. Oh, no. So smart, right? She will follow Prophet Musa wherever he is in Jannah. Yeah, yes. Whenever Nabi Musa goes in Jannah, she will follow. She's a very smart lady, eh? Mashallah. She's so, so smart. She's the one to walk herself. <laughs> Make everybody carry her. <laughs> right. And then in paradise, I can go wherever Nabi Musa goes. Uh, wow, mashallah. Wow, good. What a good you know, request. <laughs> right. And Allah gave her everything she wanted. Mashallah. Right. It is for her. It is for her. So when Nabi Musa ran away in the night. Oh, okay. So remember the um um the the, the spies that told Fir'aun. Right, that that um to Fir'aun that that uh that the Bani Israel are going to run away in the night, and Fir'aun said, "Ha, huh, we can catch up with them, no problem." Right, um, they can't run so far. Right? And Fir'aun said, "When the crows or when the um the roosters crow in the morning, we'll wake up and we'll go and chase the Bani Israel and we're gonna catch them." Right, but Allah instructed all of the roosters not to crow that morning, <laughs> so none of them crowed in the morning. See, Fir'aun he can't even control the roosters. And he thinks he's God. He can't even, you know, instruct the roosters to crow. <laughs> the roosters didn't crow all oh, didn't crow in the morning, right? Um, and then none of them woke up. They all woke up late. <laughs> Mashallah. Right? And then when they got late, everybody had left, right? They had left um, uh, uh, Egypt and they were now at the sea. So now we're coming to the very, you know, the, the, the best part of the story. is the part I like the most. Right? The best part of the story is that Nabi Musa is now facing the sea. Yeah. This sea is called the Red Sea, but it's not red. Okay, it's blue. <laughs> but it's called the Red Sea. Okay, he was he said the Red Sea. Right. If you want to see the map, uh, do I have a map or not? I show you I have a map or not. I know I had an Abi Adam's map, right? I I I show you where did they ran, okay? Mm. Can, can you see this Nabi Adam's map, right? Okay, let me uh can I zoom? <laughs> I don't know if I can zoom or not. Let me make it bigger, okay? Okay, I'll show you where they ran. Let's see if I can I can show you where they ran. Okay. So, can you all see the map? Okay. I'm, I'm making it bigger, okay? How to make it bigger? Because I don't use my internet. Because my internet is very weak. Like, ah, okay, let me, let me show you bigger. Okay, let me, show, let me show you how they ran. Okay? Can you all see? Can you see the map? Can you all see the map? Just so make it bigger and bigger and bigger. Yes. Okay? Okay, can you see? Okay. So, actually, right, Nabi, um, uh, actually, right, Nabi, Ibrahim, originally Nabi Ibrahim, he's from this area, right, a Palestine area here. Okay, they put Syria, but actually Palestine is also over there. Okay, and Turkey is above, right? So actually Nabi, actually Nabi Ibrahim was actually here at first. Okay, um, then uh, Nabi Ibrahim had his son, Nabi Yaqub, right? And Nabi Yaqub was here. So Nabi Ismail is all the way here in Mecca. Mecca is here. And Nabi Ismail is here in Mecca, right? Then Nabi Yaqub and Nabi Ishaq. Nabi Ishaq and Nabi Yusuf. Okay, Nabi Yusuf was thrown away by his brothers, remember? Nabi Yusuf was thrown away by his brothers and they brought Nabi Yusuf to Egypt. Here is Egypt. So they're all here. Then eventually Nabi Yusuf brought all the Bani Israel to Egypt and they lived here for quite some time, happily until Fir'aun came and made them into slaves, right? Then now they're going to run away from Fir'aun. Okay, I'll show you how they ran. They're from here, right? They ran this way, okay? So you see this, this, this sea over here, it's called the Red Sea. The sea here is called the Red Sea. The sea has like two, like, 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 it looks like a snake, <laughs> right? Like a snake, right? Or maybe like a, like a, like an insect with feelers, right? But it looks like that, like, like this thing here and this thing here, right? So they crossed here, so down they here, like they crossed. Can you see also those pointing? Yeah, like a serpent, right? Uh, so this, this water here, not this whole big, big water area, no, it's too far. It's too far to walk. You cannot walk that far. Okay, but just this part down here, uh, it's not so far, right? But the water is very deep. 
Uh, the water is very deep, right? So when they when 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 they ran away from Egypt, they re- reached here. They can't go around it because it's too far. Ah, uh, they can't they can't run around it. It's too far, right? So they run they ran here and uh, they ran here, right? So that was where Nabi Musa split the sea. It's not so far. They can run through, right? And then here is the mountain later on. The story of Nabi Musa climbing up the mountain to the Sina is somewhere around here, right? And that's where he talked to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Okay, ah, uh, so they're going to run back to Palestine. And later on, when they go to Palestine. Allah was said to Musa, Oh Musa, enter into Palestine. The land is for you. And the people, oh, you will see how stubborn the Bani Israel are. You know, and how they don't obey Nabi Musa alayhi salam. Later on, we talk about them, okay? But I want to show you where they ran. They, they, they split the sea here. Split part only. Right? But it's not so small. Lah. Was, I went there before. I went there before. I took a ferry across. You must take a ferry, like a boat. Um, They will bring you across. It takes you about quite some, maybe about an hour around there. Right? It's not so far. Right, um, but it's not so near also. Right, it's it's a sea. It's a sea that's there. Okay, so so you don't you know it's not like 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 a big ocean. You know, it's not a big, a big ocean, but it's a small sea like that. Okay, can you understand? Eh? where's the sea? So now they ran and they reached the sea. Yeah, they reached the sea, and so right. Um, <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's like a centipede. <laughs> Correct. Right. So it uh uh so. Um, um, Nabi Musa. Let me let me just uh, write Nabi Musa's name. Okay, Nabi Musa, right? Reached the sea, and now his people are blaming him. You know, remember his, the the Bani Israel. Ah, they're very very difficult people. They were very difficult on Nabi Musa. They reached the sea. Let me draw them in. What should, what colors should I use for them? I don't want them to be. Um, okay lah, I use blue lah. Never mind. I use black. Okay, right, so the Bani Israel, right, when they reached the sea, now they began to blame Nabi Musa. And they say, Musa, it's your fault. Uh, see, if we had stayed in Egypt, right, we will not be stuck here by the sea. Uh, they, began to, to, they began to complain to Nabi Musa and blame Nabi Musa right, for bringing them away from Egypt. So uh, there were so many of them, you know, hundreds and thousands of them. I don't know very fast, okay? Uh, so many of them, right? They were around Nabi Musa and they began to scold Nabi Musa and blame Nabi Musa and say that, you know what? We were better off staying with Fir'aun. Right now, we're all going to drown. Right now, it's all your fault. Uh, and they were talking and talking and talking and blaming and blaming and blaming Nabi Musa. Alayhi salam. Remember they brought Nabi Yusuf's um, um, coffin? That's Nabi Yusuf's coffin, okay? Okay. All right, and they were blaming and blaming and blaming Nabi Musa. Alayhi salam. All, right, all about this. All right, but Nabi Musa, he's very calm. He's not scared, right? Uh, so Allah let them reach the sea earlier, but Allah didn't do anything. All right, Allah let them, you know, it was a test for them. Will they trust Allah? Will they be patient? Will they not complain? <laughs> or are they going to complain the whole time, right? So they actually reached the sea quite early. But Allah didn't do anything. Allah just let them stand there by the sea. <laughs> and they don't know what to do. There's no boat. And they don't know what to do, right? You know, mashallah. Um, uh, there's one story I heard from my teacher before about this man. When he went to a class in the masjid. And then, and then, uh, and then, and then the, the, the imam the, Sit, 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 sit in the class that when you say Bismillahirrahmanirrahim you can do anything because Allah is all powerful when you say Bismillahirrahmanirrahim is by Allah's power you can do anything so this poor man he will say oh the imam said if I say Bismillahirrahmanirrahim I can do anything so when he went home right, he found that he has, you know, he has to cross a small river to get home right uh, he, had, he had to cross a small river to, uh, to, to get home right so when when, when, he, when he reached home Right, he uh, uh found that his boat had sailed away. Right, something happened and the boat had sailed away. So he remember what the Imam in the mosque said. He said, "The Imam said, you say Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, you can do anything because Allah can do anything. Allah is helps you." So the man said Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and he walked across the water. <laughs> he walked on the water. It's all the awliya, right? All the awliya stories. Mashallah. He walked across the water, right? No problem. And every day he would do that, his man, because he believed completely in Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Nothing is impossible for Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. So one day, right, he went to the masjid and he was so happy that he doesn't he doesn't need, he doesn't need a boat anymore. He has to walk across the the, the, the water like that, right? It's so easy, what? They have to buy a boat. So he went to the imam and said, the "Imam, imam, 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 I'm very happy." You know, that, that you taught me about the, the Bismillahirrahmanirrahim the other day. So I want to invite you to my house for lunch. I come to my house for lunch after the class. And the imam said, okay, I'll go with you. Right. And so when the imam went with this, old, with this poor person, they reached the river. 
and then the the the, the, the poor person as usual said Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and he began to walk on the water and the imam was like wait 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 how what are you doing and then the man said what and then the imam said look look you're walking on the water you're walking on the water and the man was like yeah you told me that when you say Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and you believe in it really Allah can allow you to do anything you want to do right yeah I believe Allah can make me walk on the water and the imam was like um, but I think I think my the imam the imam said my belief is not strong enough. I cannot do what you are doing. <laughs> and so the imam was not able to walk on the water because he didn't believe strongly enough. The poor man believed strongly enough, uh, so he could walk on the water easily, right? Uh, because he believed completely Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, right? But the imam was like, I, I uh, my my iman is not so strong. Like I'm not, I don't really believe that as strongly as you. I need a boat. <laughs> I can't walk on the water. <laughs> you know, mashallah. So the people, same story here. People came, they saw a huge sea. They're like, Musa, your fault. Right? No, it's all your big idea. It's all your fault. So you are the one who told us to go at night. And now we're stuck. And we can't do anything about this. And they're failing their test. Uh, they're being tested, right? They're failing their test. Right? And they complained 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 to Nabi Musa alayhi islam. Nabi Musa is the only one, Nabi Harun also, were the only ones who passed their test. And Nabi Musa and Nabi Harun said, Nabi Musa said, Allah is with me. Allah is the one who told me to go off at night. Right? I am not scared. Allah is in charge. Right? Allah will help us. Ah, Allah is with me. He will help me. He will guide me. Nabi Musa is not scared at all. Uh, so they waited and they waited and nothing happened. Then they saw in the distance, oh, what did they see? The army of Fir'aun had caught up with them. Ah, the army of Fir'aun had caught up. Up with them. Look at what Fir'aun is doing. Ah, uh, Salma, Idris, Sophia. Uh, see, the army of Fir'aun had caught up with them. And if you have Fir'aun, no, so funny. Looks <laughs> like a Pinocchio. Okay. Uh, Fir'aun. <laughs> All right, Fir'aun. The army of Fir'aun had caught up. Is the Fir'aun weird, weird hit dress, right? It's a weird hit dress. It is weird, weird. Okay. Uh, he got his, onto his horse. Right, they rode, they rode their horses, you know. Uh, the army of Fir'aun, I right, caught up with them. And it's Fir'aun on his horse. He said, go, fight them. And the horse is running. Okay, so the army of Fir'aun, and I just draw very fast, okay. Fir'aun's army, Fir'aun, Fir'aun's people, all caught up with Nabi Musa and his people. And the people said, look, Musa, Fir'aun is caught up with us. We are doomed, we are doomed. Right? In front of us is a huge sea, and behind us is our enemy. What are we going to do? See how Fir'aun, see, see how Allah tests them to the very last minute, you know. Allah could have made the sea split in the first place. Allah could have prepared the sea for them. Allah could have made the sea ice and they can skate across. <laughs> Allah could have made them disappear if Allah wanted to. Allah could have made Fir'aun sleep the whole day if Allah wanted to, right? Allah could do a lot of things, correct or not? Like Allah could do a lot of things. Allah could make Fir'aun sleep the whole day and not wake up <laughs> and wake up at night, right? Or Allah could have just, you know, like, 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 you know, make a huge, you know, uh, 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 animal or whale appear and carry them across the sea, right? I mean, Allah could do anything that Allah wants to do. But Allah wants to test them. Uh, it's not about what Allah can do. It's about what, what they are going to do. Allah wants to test them. Remember that Allah said to Nabi Adam alayhi salam, that Allah sent down human beings on the earth to be tested. Uh, so Allah's not going to make things easy for them. Right, Allah's not gonna just you know like oh you know uh, uh send you know um birds to Fir'aun and throw stones at Fir'aun like how Allah did for, for Abraha right Allah threw the the birds threw the stones at Abraha no right but Allah's gonna test them right so now they all they all begin to panic and they say oh Musa look Fir'aun is over there and the sea is over there we are doomed we are going to be destroyed you know halas you know it's all your fault Musa and Nabi Musa said. Ah, inna ma'ya rabbi. Right, my Lord is with me. Allah is with me. I am not scared. Then Allah said to Nabi Musa, Oh Musa, go to the sea and strike it with your stick. Uh, Nabi Musa has a, um, uh, 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 a, it's called a staff. Okay, in, in English, the correct word is staff. Right, a staff is like a long stick, like a walking stick. Okay, it's, it's a long stick. And Nabi Musa has this long walking stick. Right? And so Allah said, Oh Musa, go to the sea and strike the sea with your with your staff or your long walking stick. Right. And we know, right, as human beings, 
if I go to the ocean, they say, now, now you're, you're in Singapore and some of you are overseas, right? If you go to East Coast Beach, for example, you go to the beach, right? And then you will go and take a stick and you hit the ocean with the stick. What's going to happen? <laughs> what's going to happen? The water will splash at your face, right? <laughs> what's going to happen? Like if, you go, if you go to the, the, the ocean right now and you take a stick and you hit, 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 hit the, 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 the ocean with your stick, what's going to happen? <laughs> People are going to think you're... you're <laughs> They're just playing with the water, right? This is like splashing all the water all over the place, right? <laughs> Correct. No one's gonna think you're actually doing something important. Correct. Uh, because when you when you hit this the ocean with a stick, nothing happens. Water just splash back at you. Correct or not? Right? Water is just supposed to splash back at you. Did Nabi Musa say to Allah, Ya Allah, why? <laughs> did he did Nabi Musa say why to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Or did he just do it? Right? Did he just did it? when Allah says, Oh Musa, hit the, the ocean with your stick, did Nabi Musa say, Ya Allah, why? <laughs> like, what's going to happen? I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> if I hit the ocean with the stick, it's not going to work. It's going to splash. Did Nabi Musa say all of, all of those things and argue for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Did Nabi Musa say all, all of that? Or he just do what Allah, what, he just did what Allah said? What did Nabi, Nabi Musa did? Did he argue or did he just do it? Did he ask questions? So many questions. Uh, must learn from Nabi Musa alayhi salam. When people tell you, when, you, when your parents tell you to do something, when your teacher tells you to do something, when, you, when, when, when someone good tells you to do something, like Muhammad tells you to do something, you don't, you don't like say, oh, why? Why? Uh, uh, I don't understand why. <laughs> right? Do you, do you ask our questions? No, right? Just do. Just do. Ah, when Allah says, you know, fast. Allah says, pray. Allah says, cover your aurat. Allah says, don't lie. Allah says, be good to your parents. Allah says, give money to the poor. Don't say, why? Uh, just do, just do. Allah said, do it, do it. Right? So Nabi Musa just went there and he struck the ocean. And you know what happened? Right? You know what happened? The ocean right, began to split. But not into two parts. Not just two parts, you know. It split into 12 parts. The ocean split into 12 parts. I'm going to draw a nicer picture. Okay, it's split into 12 parts, not just two parts, 12 parts. So Allah is showing his power. Okay, let me show you how the ocean split. Okay, so this is the, the top of the ocean, right? Okay, this is the top of the ocean. Eh, what was it, Muhammad? Right, top of the ocean, right? And Nabi Musa split the ocean, right? The ocean, let me, let's just erase a bit, a bit here and there, okay? Right, erase here and there. Mm, the ocean, it is here. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, lah, twelve. Okay, let me show how it what happened. Okay, when Nabi Musa hit the ocean, right, the ocean began to split into twelve paths, like this. I show you how. The deep ocean is a very deep ocean. The time I draw the boat to show you where's the, where are the boats. Okay, if, if there's a there was no boat, there was no boat, but then you know, um, to show you what happened, okay. So the ocean split like this, like into rectangular, rectangular mountains. Ah, the water became like rectangular mountains. This is the water like that. Okay, ah, this is the water and the water. Ah, so many. Okay, and then okay, if there's a boat. The boat is here. Uh, if there's a boat, the boat is here on top. Okay. And then the sand at the bottom is here. Uh, the sand here. Okay. It was completely dry sand. That means the water split up like that. Uh, into 12, 12 pathways. There were 12 pathways. And where were the people walking? So I draw the people, okay? I use black color. All right. They were walking here. Where the people are there? Uh, they're walking inwards like that. Uh, they're walking and they're walking and they're walking. They're walking here, right? Why must Allah make 12 paths? Why can't Allah just make one path, right? Why when Allah split the ocean, Allah make 12 paths for them to cross the entire ocean, right? Amazing, right? Uh, so they began to walk through. So I show you how the ocean is, is like, okay? And so I'll so draw how to draw. So it's this way, okay? Can you imagine? It? Here it's all water, okay? It's all water and it's this way. Ah, that's how the ocean split. Isn't that amazing? And that's how the ocean split. 
Okay, so they have walls of huge walls of water, very high, huge walls of water on their left and on their right. Uh, and then they walk through, right? Allah made 12 pathways in the ocean. Amazing, right? MashaAllah. And if only you could see it, right? Right. So, so uh, when Allah, when Allah made 12, when Allah made 12 pathways in the ocean, it is because the Bani Israel, remember they got 12 tribes, 12 families, right? Of the Bani Israel. Uh, they must have 12 paths because they are so quarrelsome. They're always arguing. They are so quarrelsome that they, you know, if they were given one path, halfway through they will fight each other. Allah. They are like siblings like that. <laughs> you know, some siblings, do you all fight with your siblings? They are like siblings. They, you know, halfway through, hey, you're pushing me. Hey, you're pushing me. Hey, faster. You're so slow. Hey, you know, oh, they will begin to argue and argue and argue and give Nabi Musa a big headache. Right, because they're going to argue right on the uh, 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 in, when when they are when they are uh, 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 when they are going into the ocean, right? So so to make them not argue and not waste time right, and not quarrel, right? One path for each tribe, correct? <laughs> so nobody will quarrel with anybody else. <laughs> right? See how quarrelsome they were. Right, they must quarrel and quarrel and quarrel and argue and fight and fight. Right, it's gonna waste time. Nabi Musa is gonna have a big headache with them. Gonna be very frustrated with them for fighting all the time. Right, they they they're crossing the sea and Fir'aun is behind them and they want to fight with each other. They don't argue with each other. Right, so Allah said, you know what? Give them twelve, um, twelve uh, uh paths. Each tribe take one path. No, no argument. Okay, no argument. And then you know what happened while they were crossing. They complain. You know what they complain about? <laughs> you think, why are the Bani Israel like that? You know, Fir'aun is right there. Just cross. Right? Just go to the other side. Don't, don't, don't waste time complaining and arguing. Right? But they complain and they argue. Do you know what they complain about? They complain that when they go through right, the different um, paths, right, each, that, 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 it's a whole family, you know, not one person. Okay? Like, it's a whole group of people. Like, a lot of people, every family has one path. Okay, uh, so when they all were going through the paths, I draw everybody, okay, all right, through the paths, they complain to Abi Musa, oh Musa, we cannot see each other. <laughs> we can't see each other, oh Musa. We don't want to see you as anybody else. <laughs> right, so, oh Lord, these people, right? So, 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 so uh, annoying, right? They, they say, we want to see everybody else. We cannot see anybody. So Allah actually made windows. In the water, Allah made gaps in the water. Allah made windows in the water along the way. There were windows. Okay, Bismillah, Bismillah. Sorry, sorry, my internet got cut off. Let me put it back. Okay, so when Fir'aun saw the Bani Israel went through, right, and they got onto the other side, right, now Fir'aun said, Oh, it is by my power that I made the sea split into 12 parts. Liar, right? Liar. Fir'aun such a liar. Right, so he said, Oh, it's my power. It's by me. I am the one. I am God. I, I am the one who made the sea split into 12 parts right, to show the Bani Israel that I am powerful. I am the most powerful God, said Fir'aun. So people believe Fir'aun. And Fir'aun said, let's go into the water because the water listens to me. Oh, Fir'aun. Astaghfirullah al-Azim. Oh, Fir'aun. Why is Fir'aun like that? Why can't I get my marker back? Allah. Okay, never mind. I can't get... Eh, where's my... Yeah, I can't get my marker. Okay, never mind. All right, so Fir'aun, so Fir'aun said, you know, you know, first of Fir'aun said, right, that, uh, Fir'aun said that, uh, we will, we will go into the ocean. Uh, go, because the water obeys me, said Fir'aun. 
So they charge into the ocean. Uh, and the Bani Israel just reached the other side, you know, of the sea. And then Allah gave the instruction, oh, water. Right? The water is going to obey Fir'aun or obey Allah. Right? The water obeys who? <laughs> Fir'aun or Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right, of course, the water obeys Allah, of course, because Allah made the water, right? not Fir'aun. Fir'aun is, in fact, the water hits Fir'aun. Right? The, the earth hits people who don't obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? So, so the, Allah said, the, the water, water fall onto Fir'aun. Right? So now the water is going to um, uh, fall onto Fir'aun. We just throw the water crashing down, okay? I don't know why I can't get the, okay, got it. Right? So the water, so now the water is, uh, is red still, undo, undo. And so the water is crashing down onto Fir'aun. Uh, crashing down. The water is crashing, crashing onto Fir'aun. Right, to drown Fir'aun and his army. Remember, there were about seven... How many thousand did, did Fir'aun brought? About 400,000, is it? 400,000 people Fir'aun brought. Or more than that, right, of armies. Right, so then the water crashed down onto Fir'aun. And when Fir'aun saw... And this is where, the, where it is, okay? When Fir'aun saw what's happening... Ah, uh, when he saw what's happening, oh Fir'aun, his his head fly like that. Okay. Uh, when Fir'aun saw what was happening, uh, and Fir'aun is a bit bit right. And Fir'aun saw the angel of death coming. Let me show the angel of death. Okay, the angel. I don't know how to draw the angel of death. So I just draw like that. Okay. And they saw the angel of death. Right, Azrael, right, and the angel of death comes in a very scary form, right? Uh, they will cut it will, for the evil people. The angel of death comes in a scary form, right? And then when he saw the angel coming to him to take his soul out of his throat, uh, because they pull out the soul from the throat, from the mouth, right? He saw the angel coming to him in a very, very hideous and scary form. The angel of the hellfire. I had to bring to the hellfire. Then Fir'aun said, I believe, I believe in Allah. I believe in the God of the Bani Israel. I believe in the God of Musa. Uh, he shouted and shouted, I am a Muslim. And, and, and Fir'aun even said, I am a Muslim. I am a Muslim. Do you think he can do it now? Do you think now he can do it? Is it too late? Uh, he was shouting, and I am a Muslim. I am a Muslim. Oh, he thinks he can get away with it. He can't. So Allah says in the Quran, now, now you want to say you're a Muslim? Now you want to believe? Allah says, it's too late, Fir'aun. It's too late, right? Or he will die and he get drowned and Allah will throw out Fir'aun's body onto the, um, uh, out of the ocean to show everybody what happened to the arrogant Fir'aun, right? So, there's the water. Right? Allah threw out Fir'aun's body dead and bloated, right? Because Fir'aun is, he drowned, right? So, he's dead and he's bloated, right? So, Allah threw out Fir'aun, right? He's dead. Uh, dead Fir'aun, drawing ball. He lost his head. Okay. Uh, Allah threw out Fir'aun, right? Dead and bloated. You know when they, when they drown, they become big, right? Uh, dead and bloated. Right, and he died in that way, right? And then Allah says, and it is for people to see what happens to people who are arrogant. Uh, it's a lesson, right, to see what happens to people who are arrogant and go around calling themselves God and and and, and making other people their slaves and torturing other people. There's the end of Fir'aun, right? And so Fir'aun, people found his body. They found his body and they put him into the museum. Right, they put him into a mummy, they made him into a mummy and they put him into a museum. Don't go and um, visit Fir'aun okay? again. He's, he's, he's a cursed person. Uh, uh, he is in the hellfire. Right? We don't want to see uh, Fir'aun, mashallah. Okay, the, and then, and then so tomorrow I'm going to continue. Yes, for nice people, the angel of death will be very beautiful, mashallah. And in fact, it is said for, for good people, for good Muslims, right? When you die, Nabi Muhammad Sassam will come and, 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 and see you. Right to make it to make you not be scared. Uh, don't be scared. Right, so um, so that you you are brought easily into the next world. 
so for, for the ummah of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam specifically or specially you know when we die when we die if, if you are a good person you pray and then you give charity you are good to your parents i think the angel will come so beautiful and smiling the people who are going to die they're smiling because they can see the beautiful angel then nabi muhammad will 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 you know make it easy for us so you don't be scared uh, don't be scared uh, to go to the next world because for you is paradise that uh, is paradise waiting and uh, so don't have to be scared okay uh, but for bad people, uh, they will see a horrifying angel right, uh, come to them. Inshallah, everybody here will um, die as good people, as good Muslims, inshallah. Right, you all pray five times a day. I right, obey your parents. I right, be good to to be good to others and to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right, and inshallah, right, all of us will be together in paradise, inshallah, in the highest parts of paradise, right, enjoying all the food in paradise, you know, all the drinks in paradise, and they can find Nabi Musa, alayhi salam, right? You can try and find Nabi Musa. And say, hey, Nabi Musa, we know your story. <laughs> you know, mashallah. And you can even hear the story from Nabi Musa himself, what happened. Nabi Musa will tell us himself what happened in, in the story of Fir'aun and, 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 and the sea, right? Don't you want to hear from him directly? Exactly what do you see, O Nabi Musa? Oh, mashallah, right? Okay, so inshallah, inshallah. Right? So, so, but we must try our best to be good Muslims, inshallah. Okay, tomorrow I'll continue what happened after that. Remember, I told you that they all went across and they went to um, a place, right? So later on, they're going to give the, the Bani Israel are going to give Nabi Musa a really hard time. Okay, so tomorrow I'm going to talk about what the Bani Israel did with Nabi Musa, alaihi salam. Okay, Ashadu Allah.